Hello SS1 students, welcome to the, today's class. This is Government SS1 Third Term Scheme of Work. I still remain your instructor. Open what you go here, you could go here. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to know the difference between pressure group and political party number two define pressure group three list all the types of pressure group the lastly state at least five characteristics of pressure group so our topic today is pressure group so by the end Okay, by the end of this lesson, this is the things you are expected to know. But before we start, we urge you, if you have not sus subscribed to our channel, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Just that uh, subscription link there, click on it. Then that um, bell icon there, click on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive our videos immediately you'll be able to get notification of our videos anytime it comes but in case you need um ss1 third term notes get, get get to us and we will send the note to you all right pressure group and on this image you are seeing here choose the logo of nigeria union of teachers nigeria union of teachers is one of the pressure group we have in nigeria all right now a pressure group can be seen as an organized social interest group formed with the aim of pursuing its interest and influencing government policies to the benefit of its members but not attempting to control political power directly by contesting election okay so that is pressure group their job is in, to influence government policies to their own interest but they are not like political party that uh, pursue uh, political powers their own is to pursue their own interest and uh, interest and influence government policies for the benefit of their members all right then we have this uh, pressure group as well as okay this is ipob um, indigenous people of biafra as a pressure group this is their image they are protesting for the digital people of Biafra to be freed. <coughs> All right. Then let's look at the types of pressure group that we have. Number one, we have economic or business pressure group. Now, this uh, kind of group focuses on the economic well-being of their members. Yes, their job is to focus on the economic well-being of their members. For example, we have ma which, which is Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. We have NESA, which is the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association. We have NESIMA, which is Nigeria Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture. Okay, so there is an economic or business uh, pressure group. Their own is pursue business. And make some profit for themselves another type of pressure group that we have is religious pressure group uh, this pressure group form on the basis of religion yeah this pressure group is formed on the basis of religion just like we have the examples here christian association of nigeria cam cam which means christian association of nigeria we now have Nigerian Bible Society, MBS, Nigerian
Nigeria Bible Society. We have Catholic Council. And we now have Islamic Council of Nigeria. We now have Muslim Society of Nigeria. These uh, pressure groups are a religious based pressure group. You have the third one, the third type of pressure group, which is a, a promotional or protective pressure group. This group of professionals, who they are a group of professionals who come together to promote some causes which may not directly benefit their members, but the less privilege or everybody in the society yes this kind of pressure group they just come together to promote an issue now for a typical example of this kind of pressure group in nigeria is bring back our girls uh, commission the pressure group when the shibo girls we are kidnapped so their a pressure group was formed their slogan is bring back our girls they are not doing it to, for their own interest no they are doing it to promote uh, for the interest of the children, the Chibo girls that was kidnapped by the Boko Haram sect. Okay, they have the four types of uh, pressure group, which is professional or promotional or protective pressure group. Now, uh, the, it embraces workers of the same profession who try to promote their professional standard as well as articulate the needs and interests of their members and promote them by influencing government policies. And this kind of one like Nigeria Union of Teachers is a professional pressure group. Typical example, Nigeria Union of Te Teachers, NUT. They will now have the Nigeria Medical Association, NMA. You have Nigerian Bar Association, NBA. You have Nigeria Union of Preachers, NUP, and so many of them. So they are professional uh, pressure group. They come together to promote for to pr make promotion and pursue their interest. And we have the next one, which is anomic pressure group. And these ones are spontaneous um, or organized mob group which are interested in immediate achievement of goals or season of power all right they will have examples of this kind of group like a student riot group demonstrators here when students move out to demonstrate this is the, we are the four the kind of group pressure group the four within and the sixth one is social pressure group this exists to protect the interest of general welfare of each member. This one is under social pressure group. Now, this is the logo of Nigeria uh, Bar Association, the typical logo of Nigeria Bar Association. They are promoting the rule of law. All right. <coughs> okay, lastly, we'll be looking at the characteristics of pressure group. Characteristics or or features you don't call it characteristics you call it features or pressure group number one uh, one focuses now their focus is not on seizure or political power but they focus on to pursue their own interest not to seize political power finance it is financially sustained by its members okay it is its members that sustain they are them in terms of finance. They pay levies, they pay members registration and do donation to make sure that the organization is stable. Now organized, they are well organized. Yes. Number four, which is common interest. All each of them have each of the members have common interest and pursue common goal. Number five, ownership. They are not established by an act of parliament. So they are not owned by the government. So these pressure groups are not owned by government. They just came together by themselves. Intermittent relationship, they relate with the government machinery from time to time to achieve their objective. Yes, they relate with the government from time to time for them to achieve their goal. 
is where we'll stop for today's class. In our next class, we'll look at mode of operation of pressure groups. So, subscribe to this channel for you to be able to get the video for that topic. All right. Okay, uh, we have been able to uh, learn the characteristics of pressure group. I've been able to know the types of pressure group we have in Nigeria. And I'm able to define what pressure group is all about. In case you need this note, please just contact us on 081-33-57-7465 for you to get the note. Remember our slogan in this channel is pursue knowledge. What you know today is 100% capable of helping you today and tomorrow. Thank you very much.